Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for sticking around. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, a lot of busy things have been going on with life, uh, work. Unfortunately, lost some uh, close friends that I work with in an accident uh, last week. So thanks for sticking around and sticking with me. Uh, there's going to be more content coming. Today is ZCon 2020. So those that tr follow that and are tracking uh, what's going on with that event, this is my first time actually going to it. I usually just make Z days, but this year I get to make ZCon because it's right here in Nashville. Uh, close to where I live. So we're headed that way. Um, I'm going to show you some more uh, stuff that's happened uh, lately, and then uh, we'll get on the road. This garage is a mess still. Sorry. Uh, we finally got that old mower back together and running, which is really cool. Um, got a whole new slew of parts. I'm going to show you guys later. We're getting real close to the tail end of having everything we need for the actual motor build. And one of my big projects was this big air compressor. So anybody that's trying to set up an air compressor, um, I really recommend whatever capacity and price point you want. There's there's a, thousands of different options, but I got this kit from Rapid Air and it's their max line half inch piping kit. And so what I did was got the regulator and then I was able to set up drops throughout my whole garage, which is really, really useful. So I've got this manifold block here and different uh, connections. I got the reel to pull out. I got this old hood. If anybody needs an old DE hood, just let me know. We'll talk about it. Got drops, and then I got one right over there by the car there over the top of my generator. So the event that you are trying to get your garage set up for air tools and working with air compressor, definitely look at that. I watched my dad for years chase around loose hose and try to roll it up and just deal with it throughout his shops and his garage. And it works, and it's not really a big deal. But I think the kit that I got was 240 bucks, and then added probably 30 or 40 more dollars worth of extra joints and T-fittings and things just to make it set up exactly the way I wanted. So um, definitely check that out if you're interested and it's time to head to Z-Con. It's a nice brisk 55 degrees. The high is supposed to be 75. So I'm super stoked to catch up with some friends and see some Z-Cars. So that was Zcon. I know I didn't get a lot of content. I really just find myself when I go to events, I just like to soak in the event. So I really catch myself sometimes like, ah, oh, I need to film this, I need to capture this. So sorry I didn't get a lot of the event. It was really great. Love to see all my friends that I didn't get to see at Z Days this year. So all the guys from Z1 and from Atlanta, um, they came from all over. So it was really cool just to get to uh, shoot the crap with them and see what they've been doing and see all the cars, of course, talk to some guys about plans for uh, what turbo I'm actually going to try to end up running. I've gone through like three different iterations of what I think I'm going to do. So um, as you can tell, I'm probably I'm a little red. I'm like nursing. Check this out. Yeah, it's a little bit white. Nursing a really good sunburn from yesterday. So which caught me off guard because it was like beautiful 70, 75 degrees and slipped my mind. So got a little hardware. Got third place for the uh, Z33 category, which was cool. So 
I've got a little bit of a trophy collection going just from going to different events and doing different things. So, but before the end of the video, I wanted to show you the two most recent pickups for parts and what's left. So here we go. All right, so here's the stuff that we got most recently. We have the Wiseco Forged Piston Kit. So after talking to several different people, we decided to go with the 11 to 1, 96 millimeter bore piston. Um, considered the 8.5 to 1, considered stock compression, but for responsiveness and power goals and how we want uh, the engine to run and operate, we just decided to go 11 to 1. It seems like a lot of guys are doing this lately, having some pretty good luck, not many issues, and uh, should actually end up working really well. So um, decided to go with the 96 millimeter as well, just to get a nice uh, smooth bore and fresh surface and fresh start. Um, a lot of people will try to run an OEM bore, which I think is 90, 95 and a half millimeter, um, which is an option and it's completely doable and probably fine. But I just decided, hey, if I'm going to take the engine apart and uh, have a guy go through it and a team of guys, you know, do the machine work and do everything, I'm just going to go ahead and do a 96. So the other piece is the uh, Tomei head gaskets. So they actually package this together really well. Um, I really love how... They've got it all put together. Of course, the stickers, because it'd be worthless without stickers. Um, but this head gasket is supposed to have the fire ring in it, which is uh, pretty essential from what I've been reading and researching, uh, just to help with all the cylinder pressure we're going to have under boost and high compression. So that's pretty much it. Um, so to wrap things up, uh, there's only a few things left. So I did another order through Z1, and I picked up pretty much just about every gasket and O-ring that I thought I would need. So I got the rear main seal, I've gotten all the timing gaskets, extra RTV to put all that back together. Um, about the only thing I'm gonna leave out and then probably let my engine builder decide on is gonna be the engine bearings, which we're probably just gonna go OEM and then any other miscellaneous items throughout. And I am I need the main studs and head studs. So I'm probably gonna go L19s on the head stud and then just go ARPs on the main. And as far as I know, for the motor itself, that should wrap things up. So we should only have, see, can I set you up here? Hey, take a knee, take a knee. Okay, cool. Hot water heater, cool. Excellent backdrop. So I think we've gotten everything for the engine just about. So sand, some of the gaskets and other different things. Um, I'm sure stuff's gonna pop up as we go. But for those that know the car, know me or follow anything or any content on my Instagram, um, the car was cammed by Z1 Motorsports uh, back in early 2017. So the car hasn't missed a beat. It's been really, really great. But while we were in there, we did a ton. So I already did a Nismo oil pump. I did all new timing components, tensioners, oil gallery gaskets. Um, uh, I think we did a knock sensor subframe harness, I think is what it was called, that was recommended. Um, and then did pretty much new valve covers, new valve cover gaskets, uh, whole nine yards, new spark plugs. We did, a, we did a lot. So there's not a whole lot, I hope, that I come across that's going to need to be replaced uh, in that regard. So all we're going to need is all the fresh gaskets and everything just because it's good practice for anything that's rubber and, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go in there and get that done. I ordered um, used from Brian McCann, those that follow his car. He was selling some fuel components. So I picked up his CJM rails, ID1050 injectors, and I'm only missing a couple of uh, parts to make that a full return system. So my intent is to go ahead and do a return system and upgrade the fuel pump as well. I'm only running a Walboro 255, but to meet the power goals, um, I'm gonna need to have a little bit more than that. So, all right, I'm gonna stand back up. Uh, money. So that'll be good there. Fuel will be good. So the next part we've been talking about is uh, turbo selection. So I've gone back and forth from the uh, GTX 3582R, which I think is a direct replacement for the turbo that originally came on the kit. And then I talked to a couple of other buddies about the GTX 3584RS, which was pretty solid. But then talked to some guys at Zcon um, that let me know about the new, I guess, just straight G series turbo. So I'm looking at the G35900 turbo, which is pretty expensive but it's got all the newest technology it's supposed to have some really good spool time should be a direct bolt in and i'm thinking i'm gonna go that route i'm not sure if you think i should do something else um and my sunburn's bad Ooh. terrible terrible so i think that's gonna do it though and again at the end of the day i think i've landed on i want to have 
a consistent, mostly reliable, really I want to get as reliable as I can, uh, about 550 wheel on a low boost tune on pump gas. My intent is to just stick with pump. I don't want the complication of doing this other, all this other stuff. So I want to do pump gas, low boost, and for the high boost tune, I want it to be pump gas plus boosting. So my intent is to keep boosting around. I don't drive the car a ton. So the ideal situation is, is I fill up the car with 93, put boosting in the, in the tank, run it on low boost around, and then, I don't know, I'm sure that we'll get it on the dyno and just see what it can make. But then we will probably keep the high boost tune, I don't know, 700, 650, whatever the car wants to make. I mean, I don't really feel like going over seven has any point whatsoever because literally all I'm gonna be doing is spinning and I can't really use it. So it's more of a bragging right than anything. So that's it. So I've belabored this on enough. That's everything, that's the new parts. That's the plans. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading, but I'm gonna definitely gonna be uploading more because in the coming week or two, a um, couple of cool things, really last notes. One of my buddies and I got together, he's an excellent videographer and we did a full feature film shoot of the car, but we wanted to capture a couple more scenes that we're doing this week. So we're gonna take the car out. So before I start tearing it apart, we're gonna capture those. There's gonna be an awesome video he's putting together and I'll have that up on the channel as soon as he's done. So he's gonna take his time and make that awesome. So then we'll be pulling everything apart. So stick around, stay tuned. Um, full engine build, turbo build for the car. I'm gonna do my best to keep making more and more content for you guys. So thanks for checking it out. Catch you on the next one.